on Monday, June 14th, an American father and son admitted to planning one of the most daring prisoner escapes in recent memory. Their target was Carlos Ghosn, the French-Lebanese multi-millionaire chairman of Nissan. In 2018, Japanese police arrested Ghosn and charged him with a plethora of financial crimes, such as underreporting earnings, using company funds for personal expenses, and putting personal losses on the company. In this story, we will learn about the plot of Carlos Ghosn's escape movie and the fate of the American father and son. So let us open our eyes. Open your eyes for the next saga. Ghosn was one of the biggest people in the automotive industry. Born in Brazil, but raised between Lebanon and France, he was once the CEO of Michelin and Benal, and then later Nissan. In the latter capacity, he created and ran an alliance that combined Nissan, Renault, and Mitsubishi into one of the largest automotive production organizations in the world. He was one of Japan's most powerful business people and one of the country's only foreign executives until the bubble burst. Welcome back. Breaking news. Um, in the past few minutes, Nissan has revealed that its chairman has been arrested after allegations of serious misconduct. Gon claimed the charges against him were an elaborate plot by corporate enemies to bring him down. His wife alleged many people in Japan wanted him out simply because he was a foreigner. In jail, he spent weeks at a time in solitary confinement limited to 30 minutes daily outside and two weekly showers. According to a UN human rights panel, Japanese authorities did abuse Gon. They repeatedly arrested him in order to keep him in jail for an excessive amount of time, interrogated him for five hours daily, and denied him a fair trial. Gon was eventually released on bail and kept in house arrest in Tokyo. His life wasn't all bad. He was allowed frequent lunches at five-star hotels, but was told his case could take up to five years. And then he started to lose hope. And so, his contacts got to work on getting him out of Japan. They reached out to Michael Taylor, a former US Special Forces soldier who had spent years extracting people from dangerous places. Gon's wife convinced Taylor that the Japanese authorities were torturing and mistreating Gon, and Taylor wanted to help as he stated in an interview. I don't have access to it. Can you help? So of course I'm going to help a fellow citizen. And we get it done. That's the bottom line. We save those lives and bring them back home where they belong. Taylor devised a plan and assembled a team of other operatives who specialize in extraction, including his son, Peter. They hired a jet company that had been used to smuggle gold out of Venezuela in violation of US sanctions. In December 2019, the operatives landed in Osaka, Japan and headed to Tokyo, where they met Gon, who had been allowed outside at a hotel. They put him in a box meant for a subwoofer, which also has air holes in it, and drove it to the airport. The box was loaded onto their jet and the operatives boarded and they took off. The team landed in Turkey, then transferred to a flight to Lebanon. Within hours of landing there, Lebanon's president met with Gon. Japanese authorities didn't know he was missing until Lebanese newspaper reported it. Taylor and his son returned to the US believing the operation was legal because skipping bail was just a misdemeanor. In their understanding of Japanese law, helping Gon would not be an offense. You admit you did it, right? Well, we were told beforehand that jumping bail in Japan is not a crime. They were so very wrong. Father and son from Harvard, Massachusetts, have been transferred to Japanese custody. An American father and his son could spend the next several years behind bars in Japan after pleading guilty to helping a former Nissan chair flee the country. This March, the U.S. extradited the Taylors to Japan, where they were charged with masterminding the operation. On Monday, they pleaded guilty. Gon is an internationally wanted man 
who lives free as a hero in Lebanon. As for the tailors, they face three years in Japanese jail. Thank you for watching. See you again for the next sun.